Hello everyone. Do you know what I don't understand? You complain about not having money, but what are you doing with the money that you do have? Are you recklessly spending your money? I used to speak to a particular older man and he would receive a particular amount of money every month. And so many times he would ask me for money to borrow. I guess there were some times where he didn't have enough money for a particular month. So I told him, I'm like, hey, why don't you move in with someone and share the bills like why live check to check in so many words that is what i told him then he answered me and he said in so many words that he wants his own place <clears throat> because of peace of mind so you want to be broke pretty much because you want peace of mind. So do you have peace of mind when you are broke? Do you have peace of mind asking me or maybe some others for money? It really doesn't make any sense. Like for instance, with buying cars, let's say there is a car that cost $50,000. And inside of your mind, you believe you can afford the payments, the monthly payments on credit. So you are receiving credit to purchase a car. So you have to pay monthly payments. And because of how you structured your life, you pretty much break even every month. But if a really big emergency happens to where, let's say, there is a hospital bill or something really bad happens, would you have enough money to pay for it? Probably not. Why not live lower than what your income is? Why are you spending the amount you make plus more at times either the amount you make or more than it is it like a self-esteem problem or issue or something you want to be seen more than what you really are it makes no sense i was listening to a video and i believe certain people in particular races they can live in groups in a house. Let's say that they can live like two families or more in one house. So let's say there are two or three people that are working. All three can split the bills, you know, rent, food, electricity, so on and so on. So that will leave more money for you. You speak about you are struggling. You say you are so poor. But aren't you doing it to yourself? Look at how you are handling money. You want your own place. You want a very nice car. You want this and you want that. And you wonder why you are having such a hard time. Now you are praying to God, looking for a way out. How about you learn how to manage money? Stop being so prideful or whatever you call it and live with someone or better yet, three or more people. Stop buying these really expensive cars. Buy something that you can really, really afford to where you won't go broke at the end of the month. Stop buying these really, really expensive clothes unless you can truly afford it. So if a problem does happen, 
you will have the money to take care of it. And I think that is the problem with some people. They want to look like they are rich other than building wealth. Not to say that I have a lot of money. What's the point in looking like you have something when you may have certain things, but you are struggling to eat or to pay your bills? It really makes no sense to me. You should not really be living check to check. Oh, Kevin, Uncle Kev, I want my own place. I want my own car. It is okay to have those things if you can afford it. You are not really entitled to have those things. Live in a way where it makes your life easier. If you are making $3,000 a month, why are you spending $3,000 a month? That is not wise. If you are making $3,000 a month, try to only spend $2,000 a month, or maybe if you can, $1,500. So the rest, you can save it up, or if you choose, you can use that money to help other people. Uncle Calf, I don't really want to help people. And that is your problem. And I believe that is one of the reasons why you are in the predicament that you are in now. You believe the more money you make, you should spend still up to that limit. I mean, at that exact limit. If you are not able to save, Probably, more than likely, you are spending unwisely. Stop being prideful and find some roommates. Someone you can split the bills with. I believe you can be an average person making average pay and have really nice things and still be able to save. But it depends on how you manage your money, on the way you structure your life. For instance, back in my past, I used to buy very nice clothes, or I guess what is nice to me, expensive. People would tell me in so many words that, uh, you know, I look nice on how I dress and stuff like that. But there were many times where I was either broke or had a low amount of money. So is being broke worth compliments? <laughs> no way. I regret spending all that money on clothes and shoes and mess like that. I regret it. Maybe if I would have saved properly, which I did save at times, but I would blow, you know, money and stuff like that. But if I would have been consistent in saving, I probably would have a lot more than I do now. But I would also give too. You are praying to God asking for a miracle. But how about you downgrade your life? You don't need the latest phone. You don't need very expensive shoes and, and very expensive clothes. Find roommates. Downgrade your clothing. Downgrade your accessories. Budget the food that you eat. You don't have to go to restaurants three times a week you are truly hurting yourself i believe the problem is for many people you want people to look highly upon you you want people to admire you 
And I believe a lot of that is due to a self-esteem problem. Even if you have nice possessions, even if you appear to be more than what you are, there are going to still be people who don't like you. <laughs> Doesn't that make sense? So you are wasting so much money on yourself thinking that you are going to be accepted by so many people and I don't think that is the case always. You are buying all these clothes and stuff like that then all of a sudden you have to go to the hospital. The furnace in your house messes up. Your car needs to be repaired and you don't have no money. Why? Because you spend up to the amount you make every month. Now you are afraid. Now you are panicking. Now you can't make your car payment because you was not being wise and spending your money. And you may say, whatever is happening is of the devil. Is it really? Or is it you don't manage money correctly? I went to a country, a poor country, and I am not trying to joke about this or tease about this or try to make myself look more than what I am. What I saw did not really make any sense. I saw very poor people wasting money on very nice looking clothes. And I started to think, much of this country is poor. And I believe too, there were poor people who wanted their own house. I mean, their own apartment or whatever you call it. So there are many people over there that are suffering. So I was thinking, and I believe I discussed this with someone. Why don't, and this probably happens over there, but why don't more people put their money together? Like stay under one roof or multiple roofs with groups of people, if that makes any sense. And put the money together and save the money and save your money so that the condition of those people could get better. I believe I saw a lot of wastefulness, caring more about the outer appearance more than how their life truly is. I guess some people are rather look like they have money but go home but go to a place that looks like a trash pit it makes no sense why not live in that trash pit with many people who are working who can share who who can share the bills with you so that you can save your money and live in a better place and buy things that is not really going to financially hurt you. Why not downgrade the way you dress? Save that money for something else. I think this is common sense. You want to waste your money, but you think other people should give you money when you are broke. But inside of your closet, you have all these shoes, all these clothes, but you live in a dirt pit. Sometimes you don't even have enough money to eat. I think this is very senseless, and I am not trying to speak poorly about anyone. I am not better than anyone. For instance, I downgraded the way I dress. I don't live all by myself. So there are times where I help people. I can do some things that 
I probably wouldn't be able to do if I didn't structure my life the way I have. Am I telling you I have a bunch of money? I am not saying that. Am I telling you I have twenty, thirty, fifty thousand dollars? Of course not. But because of how I structured my life, and let me say, firstly, the grace of God, but I believe we should be good stewards of what he gives us, right? If God blesses you with some money, even if it is a little, do good with that little. It is not smart to spend everything that you have. Some people may think I have a lot of money. It is not that I have a lot of money. I budget and I sacrifice. And I would say too, by the grace of God, I can do what I am doing. I believe if you help others, you are going to be helped as well. Even if I was not living where I am living now, as soon as possible, I would, do, I would probably try to find other people who I can live with. If it was possible, maybe two or more people who have an income. If there's three people that I could move in with who have an income, that is better. Yes, I may, you know, in, in a situation like that, I would probably be inconvenienced. There may be disagreements and all that mess there, but who cares? Let's say, let's say there is something you really want to do. You could stay there, save up money for two or three years. Then you could move out and be able to do some things that you normally wouldn't be able to do if you would live alone and have your own bills and have to pay them by yourself if I said that correctly. Everything is not about convenience. Everything is not about comfort. Sometimes you may have to be inconvenienced for now to get what you want later. You have to look at the end goal, end goal and not really look at the issues you have now. Manage your money better. You may complain about some things now. You have your own house, you have your own car, but you complain that you don't have enough time to do this, enough time to do that. Restructure your life. But you don't want to do that. You want the things that you want. If you want other things, and if your lifestyle won't permit it, then you need to restructure your life, right? So what I am trying to say, downgrade your life to get what you want later on. Maybe years later, you are wasting your money and in some cases, with some people, they may be suffering because of it. It is time to make a change. 